Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, nitrogen and its compounds. Our subtopic for today is fertilizers. So basically we are still continuing on ammonia. We know one of the uses of ammonia is production of fertilizer. So we are going to look at these fertilizers and the best alternative uh, in the fertilizer and how can we determine the best one to use and then we'll do a few questions. So first of all, ammonium uh, salts are usually formed when ammonia reacts with acids and mostly in dilute, uh, followed by evaporation and crystallization. So a salt is produced and then it undergoes crystallization. And when it undergoes crystallization, the crystals are formed and this is the one that is usually added and makes the fertilizer. So for example, formation of ammonium sulfate, sulfate is prepared by absorbing ammonia in sulfuric acid. It is a very cheap fertilizer, meaning it's very common and available. So ammonia is reacted with sulfuric acid to form ammonium sulfate, as you can see in the equation. And next, we have ammonium nitrate. It's prepared by the neutralization of nitric acid by ammonia. So ammonia reacts with nitric acid, as you can see in the equation, to form ammonium nitrate. Uh, as there is some danger in exploding during this stage, because you know that ammonium nitrate is very sensitive, as you were discussing later on when you were hitting ammonium nitrate in the previous video, it is important that it's mixed with calcium carbonate, which helps it to prevent uh, the explosion. So the, so the mixture, solid, um, a nitro chalk is much safer to use than just ammonia and nitric acid on, on its own. So next is ammonium phosphate. It is useful in its supply for both nitrogen and phosphorus to the soil. So you know that also phosphorus is important to the soil. It's prepared by neutralizing also phosphoric acid by ammonia. So ammonia reacts with phosphoric acid to form ammonium phosphate. And then we have another chord in urea and you can see the formula of urea. It's made from ammonia and carbon dioxide. Its nitrogen content is nearly like 47% as you look later on. And this is the equation ammonia plus carbon dioxide. We know carbon dioxide is acidic in nature. So it forms ammonia, uh, urea plus water. So the question is how can we be able to determine which one is the best um, the best uh, fertilizer to use out there. So we started with the reaction of ammonia with sulfuric acid to form ammonium sulfate. So that's the ammonium sulfate. So the atomic number of nitrogen is 14, of hydrogen is 1, of sulfur is 32, of oxygen is 16. So we are going to use these atomic numbers in our calculation. First of all, we identify the amount of nitrogen or the atomic number or mass number of the nitrogen atoms in ammonium sulfate. So you open the bracket, so nitrogen had a, a one at the bottom here, but if you open the bracket, it means we have two atoms of nitrogen. That means it's 14 times two or 14 plus 14, which gives us 28. And then we look for the molecular mass of the whole atom, ammonium sulfate, which is going to be um, nitrogen which are 2 that is 14 times 2 plus hydrogen you can see if you open the brackets it's going to be 2 times 4 so it's going to be 1 times 8 plus 32 plus you see oxygen are 4 of them so it is 16 times 4 which gives us a total of which becomes uh, 28 plus 8 
plus 32 plus 64, which gives us a total of 132. So if we want to get the percentage nitrogen content, it's going to be 28 all over the total of which is 132 and then we multiply this by 100% which is going to give us 21.21% so the next uh, salt that we discussed was ammonium nitrate so this is going to be ammonium nitrate so the atomic number of nitrogen is 14 of hydrogen is 1 of oxygen is 16 so if you take the content of nitrogen is still two atoms so it's going to be 14 times 2 which gives us 28 and then you look at the molecular mass of the whole uh, salt or the whole fertilizer so that is going to be 14 times 2 14 times 2 is for the two nitrogens and then for the four hydrogens 4 times 1 plus oxygen which is 16 times 3 this is the same as 28 plus 4 plus uh, 48 which will give us 80 so when you get the percentage it's going to be 28 over 80 times 100 which is going to give us so that's 28 divided by 80 uh, times 100 which gives us 35 percent next is ammonium phosphate so it's ammonium bracket 3 and then phosphate so nitrogen is 14 again hydrogen is 1 uh, phosphorus is 31 and then oxygen is 16 atomic numbers so the amount of nitrogen we have are three atoms as we open the bracket so for the three atoms it's going to be 14 times 3 which gives us 42 and then we look for the molecular mass of the whole uh, the whole fertilizer which will be 14 times 3 for the nitrogen plus hydrogens now are 12 because it's 4 times 3 which it becomes 12 times 1 then plus 31 then plus 16 times 4 which is the same as 42 plus 12 plus 31 plus 64 which gives us a total of 149 so if you want to get the percentage amount of nitrogen, it's going to be 42 over 149 times 100, which is going to give us 28.2%. And finally, we have urea, which is treated like this. So carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 nitrogen is um, 14 then hydrogen the atomic number is one so the nitrogens we have there are two of them so it's going to be 14 times 2 which gives us 28 and then for the rest is going to be um so it's 12 for the carbon plus oxygen which is 16 plus uh, 14 times 2 uh, plus 1 times 4 because we open the bracket so there are four hydrogens so 12 plus 16 plus 28 plus 4 which gives us 60 so it's going to be 28 over 60 times 100 which gives us 46.7 percent which is around like 47 percent so if you were to compare the amount of nitrogen in these four fertilizers you notice urea has the highest content and that's how you determine which is the best fertilizer
and then some of the uses of ammonia gas is it's used in the manufacture of nitric acid of um, a nylon and then it is used to prepare ammonia salts used as fertilizers as we have just discussed it is liquefies fairly and the liquid liquid is used as a refrigerant especially in large storage containers then liquid ammonia is usually injected directly to the soil to, as a high nitrogen content fertilizer then ammonia is used in laundry work as water softener and cleaning agent i want you to note that it is used to make salt as a fertilizer and it's also itself used as a fertilizer those are two different uses and then ammonia is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate in the solve process as we looked at in the previous videos in form two it's used as it's melting salt because it has a slightly stimulating effect on the action of heat and prevents fainting. So let's do this one question to bring us to the end of the session. Fertilizers are added to the soil to improve crop yield. A farmer has a choice of two fertilizers, ammonium nitrate or diammonium hydrogen sulfate. Show by calculation which of these fertilizers contains the greater percent of nitrogen by mass. So we are going to separate the two as we did before. So we have ammonium nitrate and we have diammonium, the two of them, hydrogen phosphates. So the nitrogen, we have two atoms, so it's going to be 14 times 2, which gives us 28. And then the molecular mass of the whole fertilizer is 14 times 2, plus hydrogens are 4, so 1 times 4, plus oxygens, there are 3, so 16 times 3. So this is the same as 28 plus 4 plus 48 which gives us 80 so it's 28 divided by 80 times 100 so this percent gives us 35 percent then we look at ammonium phosphate the amount of nitrogen are also two atoms so it's 14 times 2 because we open the bracket with these two and then the molecular mass of the whole um, the old fertilizer is going to be 14 times 2 from the nitrogen plus the hydrogens are 8 plus 1, 9, so 1 times 9 plus phosphorus, which is atomic number 31, plus 16 times 4. So this is the same as 28 plus 9 plus 31 plus 64, which gives us 132. So it means, this is 28, it means it's 28 over 132 times 100, which gives us 21.12%. So if you were to compare between these two, this tells us that ammonium nitrate is the best because it has more nitrogen content. So that brings us to the end of um, ammonia and the fertilizers. So in the next lesson, you look at nitric acid, how it's prepared and some of the properties. So see you then.